Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we will be talking about the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. In problem number 55, I'd like to find the area of the region bounded by the function x squared minus 25 on the interval 2 to 4 and the x-axis. Okay. So first of all, maybe we want to get some sort of a feeling for what this looks like so we see what's going on. Um, so here's my x and y axis. Uh, f, of x equals f, f of x equals x squared is just a basic parabola. Minus 25 is shifted down 25 units. So if we're down here at negative 25, then we get our parabola heading up. All right. Um, so what we're really trying to find here, but we're not interested in everything. We're just interested in between two and four. Uh, by the way, where does this thing intersect uh, zero? It would be at five. So from two to four, we have some area here. And we want to know how much area is trapped right there. Now what we have to be a little bit careful about here is that we recognize that this area is sitting underneath the x-axis, not above the x-axis. If we think that it's above, we might set up something like this. We might say, well, let's integrate this from 2 to 4, uh, and then we just put our function in here, which is x squared minus 25 dx. We might say, let's compute our area this way. Well, this would be wrong because this is going to be calculated as negative area because it's below the x-axis, not as positive area. Okay, so we have to be a little bit careful. But since we know that this is going to be computed as negative area, all I really need to do is add a negative to the front of that, and now everything's fine. So the reason that we want to draw a graph first, if we can, is because it gives us some sort of a feel for what is it that we're looking at here. This is a region below the x-axis, so we've got to be a little more careful. Okay, so now that we know what we need to integrate, let's take this integral and see what we get. So first of all, I need to take an antiderivative. Uh, that negative is still around, so let's just leave the negative. The antiderivative of x squared, I use the reverse power rule, uh, and I get that that would be x cubed over 3. The antiderivative of negative 25 is minus 25x. And then I want to evaluate that from 2 to 4. 2 to 4. Okay, so let's rewrite that. I've got a negative. Now I'm going to plug in 4 first. Okay, if I plug in 4, I get 4 cubed, which is 64 over 3. Uh, I'm still plugging in 4, minus 4 times 25, which is minus 100. Minus, remember, fundamental theorem says I plug in the 4, and then I subtract plugging in the 2. So I plug in the 2, and I get 8 thirds. And then I plug in the 2 and I get minus 50. Okay, let's combine everything together here. Uh, let's see. So we got to be a little bit careful about this negative. So let's just leave the negative outside for now. I get 64 thirds minus 8 thirds. So 64 thirds minus 8 thirds is 56 thirds. And then I get minus 100 plus 50, which is minus 50. Okay, how many thirds is 50? It's 150 thirds. So we've got 56 thirds minus 150 thirds, which would be negative 94 thirds. So this is minus, minus 94 thirds. Right? 
and minus minus 94 thirds is positive 94 thirds. And that's my answer.